Hey there, this is the Yard Buddha, and today we are going to plant some marigold seeds that I saved from some plants from last fall. And this is a very cheap project. All you really need is some sort of tray to start them in and some soil. Uh, I've got some perlite here, which is, which is optional, but these here are specifically called orange boys they are a french marigold and i'll just try to pronounce the real name is tagetes patula and usually they come in kind of yellow orange or copper colors i actually tried to take some of the rare ones um the rare yellow ones out last year from this batch and you can see how much kind of each seed or each flower produces hundreds of seeds at the end of the year so I mean I have tens of thousands of seeds here more than I know what to do with I've offered them to my neighbors and I may just go randomly plant them around the neighborhood so I'm sorry if you live next to me and you see some random marigolds pop up you know where they came from but these are pretty awesome they usually will bloom all through late spring all the way to fall they do need a whole lot of light so you have to plant them in a sunny spot and these ones here i'm, I'm just going to try to get going it's about the last week of april here and so I'm going to try to sew them into this tray here. And they don't like frost, so I'm going to leave them out here. It's a nice sunny day here, about 70 today. So I'll leave them out during the day, and then if it gets cold at all at night, I'll just bring them into the garage. But all I've got here is just an old tray. And I filled it up with just some well-draining potting mix. And then about a third of a tray of perlite, which is optional. And all I'm going to do is just take some, sorry, some landscape fabric so that the soil doesn't go right through the holes. And I'm going to pile that stuff up there and then I'm going to plant these seeds probably about an inch apart. And so I think in this tray, I should be able to get about 40 of them, which is definitely enough. And I may try maybe doing half of these lighter yellow ones that were a little more rare and then half of these orange ones because they are called orange boys. And just, you want to keep that well watered. And usually these germinate within one to three weeks so maybe shoot for like two weeks if you don't see anything then you probably didn't do it the right way so we'll show you what these look like once they've germinated okay i just wanted to show you a little bit here of how i do sow them so the soil i do like to put a little bit of moisture in it before I plant everything in it, it's just easier to get everything kind of compacted and you don't want stuff to be too dry down below and too wet up top. So usually I'll mix a little bit of water in here while I'm mixing this moisture up. And then it's really hard to just grab one seed at a time, but I've tried to place them you know about an inch or so apart it's okay if they're closer than that you're probably going to be transplanting these later once they've gotten about two inches high so all i'm going to do now is fill up this tray and then cover it with about a half or a quarter of an inch more of the soil and then just make sure that it's nice and moist you want it to drain well you don't want it to be you know super super soggy and then a couple weeks from now we should start seeing some action 
and then you can pop those out and transplant them into pots or wherever else you want. Okay, these are my marigolds. Probably about six weeks after I had put in the seed in here. And they started to sprout probably about two weeks after that. So I've just been trying to keep them in the sun and keep them nice and moist. And now we're ready to transplant them. You can see some of them are getting four inches high. So we're going to kind of pop them out of there using my you know, hoary hoary garden knife here. I'm just gonna kind of carve around these and just pop up a little segment and then put them where you want them. I did end up getting, I think there's about 23 or 24 plants in here which I probably planted about 60 seeds, so maybe a 50% germination rate, which isn't bad, and this probably cost me a dollar or two in soil, but otherwise everything was free that I already had. And I am going to put these in my straw bales here with my tomatoes, because I did learn that marigolds and tomatoes go really well together. The marigold actually produces a chemical down in the roots that suppresses any sort of nematodes, which are kind of like little worms that can attack the tomato roots. And then the marigold flowers actually release some sort of smell that uh, keeps insects away also. So these are my four purple Cherokee plants that I have in here and that I may plant a couple marigolds in this purple Cherokee and maybe even some in my cucumbers here as well because I heard those are a good kind of symbiotic relationship plants. So I've got 23 of these to work with. So we'll throw them in there and I'll show you kind of what they look like. Okay, just a final report on these marigolds here. They have done their job. These are the ones in my tomato plants and my tomatoes have gone epic this year. They wanted to get about eight feet tall and I had to cut them off at six feet, but I think they have kept away the pests. I really haven't noticed any insects or anything attacking my tomatoes, so love the symbiotic relationship between these and the tomatoes they've done really well in that that straw there um, you can definitely see the the ones that were yellow that I picked out are all yellow but I do kind of like the orange orange boy original ones even better and these were the ones in my cucumber plants I just took the cucumbers out because it is now late September, cucumbers were done. So they got in, in there. I even planted some in my jalapenos here. And they've done great. Let me go show you a few that I planted out randomly in the... Okay, this is actually my backyard, sorry. And my common area, I just threw some seeds out here and this what they're looking like here and I'll be able to get a lot more seeds off of these again beautiful so thank you guys for watching please subscribe we'll see you later